Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Learning with Jelly. Today, we're on our fourth video in our Git and GitHub series on how to push file changes to a GitHub repo to help us on our journey in getting Git. So our agenda for today is we're going to revisit that code editor that we downloaded in video two. And I'm going to have a link of video two in the description below so that we can navigate the VS code interface because this interface has built in Git GUI that's going to allow us to see our Git repo. And I absolutely love it. We're then going to change a file and then we're going to push those changes to a remote GitHub repo. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is connect our Visual Studio code to the terminal. So I'm going to walk you through this, but the basic steps is we're going to open up the piece of software. We're going to press command in the up arrow and P. In the search bar, we're going to type in a caret symbol and shell command, and we want to click the install code command and path. And this is going to allow us anytime we're in our terminal and we type the words code, it's going to automatically open up a Visual Studio Code editor. Okay. If this does not work for you, try uninstalling the shell command. So it's going to be this second option, then reinstalling it. So click on the second choice and then the first. So let's get into Visual Studio Codes. So I'm going to go ahead and find Visual Studio Code on my computer that we have downloaded. Mine is here. And when you get inside Visual Studio Code, you want to hit Command Up Arrow P. And this search bar is going to open for you. Once again, that's Command Up Arrow P. Or if you're on Windows, it may say what it is. I think it is Control Up Arrow P. And we're going to do a caret symbol. And soon as we do, and you can even type in shell, you're going to see where it says install code commands and path. And that is exactly what you want to click to install it. Like I said, if the installation does not work, be sure to click this uninstall first. So you may have to uninstall it and then you may have to reinstall it. So once we do that, and I'm going to go ahead and exit out because I have done this you're going to be able to go to your terminal inside your repo. So let me do a control L. Remember control L clears the screen. And I see that I'm in my repo projects, right? Just to make sure I can do a git status and it shoots me out some information. So that means that this is a git repo. And here I can type in code. When I type in code, a visual studio code editor pops up for me. So this is awesome, okay? So after that, I can open something. So I'm gonna click open and I'm going to open my repo. So I'm gonna go to documents and I'm gonna open up repo projects because that is where my repo is stored. And as soon as I do that, I see that readme.markdown and I also see this git branch here, okay? So I'm going to go back to the Explorer and I'm going to click on README, okay? And I'm also going to click on Git now so that my README is up. And then up here in Visual Studio Code, I'm going to be able to also bring a terminal here. So when I kind of minimize my screen, I see this here where it has a slash with a bottom. And now when I see that, I see that I actually have a terminal in Visual Studio Code and I'm inside my repo projects, okay? So now I wanna make a change to my readme. So I'm gonna do a hashtag and I'm gonna say my first readme. And if I click on this little magnifying glass and preview, it's gonna show me exactly what it looks like, okay? If I were to push it. So this hashtag is how we create markdown, which is just text. So if I wanted to create a subheading, maybe I want two, and I would put introduction. And maybe I wanted another subheading and I wanted to call um, business understanding. And this is gonna help me create my readme. So once I add something to this readme, I'm gonna do command or control S. So I'm gonna do command S to save it. 
And I see once I save it, it turns yellow, okay? So what is good about Visual Studio Code is that over here, it tells me what an M that it has been modified. And when I hover over the plus, it says that I can stage changes. So that is very similar to a git add, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the plus sign. Now what my stage changes, I can do a commit. So it says I can enter a message here of what I've done. And I'm gonna say added intro in BU subheadings to read me. Something that's very descriptive. And then I'm just gonna hit commit. And so I did my git add, I did my git commit, and now I'm gonna do my git push. And in this case, it's going to say sync changes. I'm gonna hit it. And it's gonna say this action will pull and push commits from into origin main. You can either hit okay or don't show again. I'm gonna hit okay, cause that's exactly what I wanna do. And now since I have done that, if I go back to my repo and I hit refresh, I now see this readme file with those two headings that I had. Okay? So it did it right for me in Visual Studio Code. Now, if I did not want to do it that way, I definitely in my terminal, after I save the file in Visual Studio Code, I can run the git add, after the git add in my rep in my terminal, I could do the git commit dash m and write a message here. And then after that, I can do the git push, right? So two different ways, but Visual Studio Code allows you to do it all of that with clicking buttons if you don't want to actually type it out in the terminal, okay? All right, so let's go back to our deck here. So in this case, this takes you through the steps of how to change a file. And the red is gonna be what you're gonna actually type in the terminal. So you wanna make sure that you're inside your repo. If you called it first repo, if you called it repo underscore projects, whatever it may be. In VS Code, you're gonna put code, right? Inside your terminal. You're gonna be able to save those changes with command S or control S. After that, do git add, git commit, git push. Remember, git add, git commit, git push, right? This is taking you through the GUI of VS Code, right? That I just walked you through. So that little git symbol on the side is going to be that git interface. And that, my friends, is how you make a change to a file and push it to your local repo. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you for tuning in with Learning with Jelly. Bye-bye.